Hi, today I'm going to relate to you the story, a creation myth story from uh, the Zunai people of the American West. Um, so here we go. Um, long ago, before humanity was, was fully formed and brought to the surface, we all lived deep underground in dark caves. Uh, we couldn't see each other. Uh, humans had horns and they had tails. They had webbed fingers and toes, and they lacked a lot of features that make humans humans. Um, so the son saw humanity living in the state, and he sent his two sons, younger brother and older brother. And he told them to help the people travel up to the surface um, so that they could live in the sunshine and they could be happy. Um, because it I don't think we were very happy living down in the uh, darkness and underground. Um, so elder brother and younger brother go down into the underworld and they find us in these terrible conditions. Humanity is just gross. We are, we can't see anything. We're stepping on each other. We're spitting on each other. We're urinating all over each other. And it's just gross, right? It's a terrible situation for humanity to be in. So elder brother and younger brother, plant trees. They plant pine, spruce, silver spruce, and aspen, four trees. And each one of those trees represents one of the four directions, so north, south, east, west. And as the brothers rise through the underworld, they drive a prayer stick in from one of the trees into the ground every once in a while. And that prayer stick creates thunder that then moves the people up into their new world. So I don't know if it just magically moves them up or if it's like the sound is guiding humanity up out of these caves, but eventually all of humanity comes up into the world. And the people are now on the surface, but they they aren't equipped to live on the surface yet, right? They, they aren't ready for their new home. So um, elder brother and younger brother give them corn only when they do, they realize that humanity doesn't have mouths, so we can't eat the corn. So younger brother and older brother put everybody to sleep, and while they're asleep, they sneak among humanity and they cut open mouths into our heads. So now we can eat, and the great thing is we love eating. Humanity loves to eat, but a new problem comes up. We eat all this corn, and it has nowhere to go because we don't have bums yet. We don't have anuses. And so younger brother and older brother put them back to sleep, put humanity back to sleep, do a little bit more sh surgery, and now everyone can go to the bathroom and we all feel much, much better. So over and over for the next couple of days, younger brother and elder brother continue to do this surgery on humans. They get rid of the webbed hands and, toe and, hands and feet so that we can cook. They chop off our horns and our tails. And then eventually humans are complete.